My name is Jan Nigro, and I am Laura Nero's little brother. I want to welcome all of you to this evening of celebration of Laura's life and her glorious music. It's in my bones, you know, it's like this deep emotional like, you know, getting caught up in like the waves of soul and the extended chord, you know, it's just the richness. Laura had, um, was really a poet as well as a musician. Not everybody, in fact, very few people can do both. We grew up in the Bronx. Our mother was a bookkeeper, and our father was a trumpet player, professional trumpet player. And there was always a lot of music going on in our apartment. Somebody please write the wrong. 1968 was actually a pretty bad year for the country. Uh, there was civil unrest and racial tension and the assassination of Dr. King and Bobby Kennedy. And Laura, in response, wrote a song of hope. Technically, her chords on the piano were chords I never heard before. That she just seemed to have no, no restraints on her voice and her playing, and it, she was just wild sounding, you know. Joni Mitchell, of course, was her friend and said you could lump me in with her and she never complimented anybody. Her high voice, it just had this siren, this like siren soaring like pressing against a wall with your like vision, your like third eye like coming out at you like this. <laughs> 